Hey guys, welcome back to Decorate with Dana and welcome back to another video. Today we're taking the decorating outside and we're working on a spring patio makeover and refresh. We're going to be building some new furniture and cleaning up and scraping the moss between the pavers of the patio and then just decorating the space. I hope that you find this video gives you a little bit of outdoor decorating inspiration. So we're going to be building some new furniture that was sent to me by Yida Home. This is not a sponsored video. They were just so kind enough to send it to me to assemble it and review for you guys. So I'm super excited to share it with you because I am extremely impressed with this outdoor sectional and deck box. But first we're going to start by scraping the patio and getting all the moss off between the pavers. So I found this little tool on Amazon. I think it came with a two pack and I think it was around 20 or $25. It was the best $20 I've ever spent. It, can, it has a nice wire brush that you can get between each paver and scrape out the moss. And so I think it worked out great and it just really saved my back because you could put a broomstick right on it. So now we're just going to unbox and start assembling this furniture. Okay, you guys, here is this furniture all put together. It was super easy to put together. Um, I will say it was a little intimidating when I first pulled it out just because there were so many pieces, but the directions were super easy to follow. And if you did not have any power tools, you could still put this together. It came with the Allen wrenches that you needed to assemble it. We did have some power tools, so it made it go a little bit faster. But I did this all by myself. My husband was busy inside working, had meetings and stuff. So I just put this together. It took me probably maybe an hour and a half, two hours, but it was not hard and it was super easy to follow the directions. Here's this amazing deck box. It's huge. It is big enough to hold all of the cushions and it is super nice. I love the looks of it. It probably will go over off on the side over there where there's like rocks and stuff and I'll probably put it over there just to store it off of the patio but it's perfect. When I first put this together, this has happened over a course of a few days, it got super windy, super rainy and I mean when I say windy we had gusts up to 50 miles an hour. This furniture did not move at all. So that is a true test here because it gets so windy so i am very impressed with that and then this deck box held all of the cushions and it kept everything totally dry so i am very impressed with this so now we're going to do the fun part of kind of decorating putting the patio together i have some furniture i want to wash and kind of just get everything nice and clean and then we will start decorating
Okay, so you can see that the patio was totally scraped and cleaned. As I said, that was a couple of days ago. Um, I did go lightly with the hose over this. I'm not going to power wash it right now because we will be sealing these pavers, but that can't happen until June or July. It has to be consistent, 75 degrees and um, like no lower than 50 or 55 at night. We are nowhere near that, but it, at least it is scraped of all of the moss and nice and clean. I highly recommend those little um, tools that I got off of Amazon. If you have pavers, I will link them down below. Super inexpensive. It came with a pack of two. You just screw in your broom handle and it's so much easier on your back. You can stand up and do it. And I don't know, I just thought it was great for only, I think it was like around 20 or $25. So anyways, I'm going to just quickly blow the patio off and then we'll continue with decorating. So like I said, I am extremely impressed with this outdoor sectional and they did offer some discounts for you guys. So you can get a $55 coupon off the seven piece set when you hit the link down below, which will bring you to the Amazon site and you can just apply that $55 coupon. You also can get a 10% off code for your purchase at yidahome.com using my code Dana10. I will have the Yida Home website linked down below. This discount code is valid from April 29th to May 29th. So you have pretty much almost a full month to be able to use this code. And I will have the direct links to the patio sofa and the deck box down below. So again, thank you so much to Yida Home for sending me this absolutely beautiful outdoor sectional to review. So now we'll just go on and finish decorating the rest of the patio and then we will come back to the sectional to give it a little bit of final decorating touches.
Okay, you guys, here is how the patio turned out this year. I love it. It's super simple, but I love it so much. That furniture from Ye to Home is amazing. I absolutely love it, and it was just made that nice, coziest little corner over there. So make sure you check them out. Everything is out in the description box, my codes, links, and everything. But I highly recommend them, and as you can see, Kova thoroughly enjoys them. But anyways, starting down here on either side, side of the steps. I do have these ferns in these pots. They are not planted yet. It is still getting down to the 30s at night. So I have to bring all these plants inside. So it's just easier. This is way too heavy to carry in. So I just pull the pot out, bring it in for the night, and then I'll put it back out the next day. And then I will plant them once it gets warm enough. But coming over here, um, this is that gorgeous furniture. I love it. I love the cream color. Um, it did come with some red pillows, but that just wasn't going with the vibe I was going for out here. So I got these pillows from at home. They were in my outdoor home haul if you missed it. I also got this great rug from at home. I think it was like $69, super affordable. It's an indoor outdoor rug and I love it. And then these are those two gorgeous lanterns from Target. I do have to um, get some candles for those. The ones I had kind of got a little destroyed. I left them out over the winter. So I have to get two of the um, flameless, you know, battery operated large candle, pillar candles for that. But I do love those right there. And then on this little table, I just have this tray from Hobby Lobby along with those two glasses. I got those last year, but they do have them again this year. Just put a pitcher of water, you know, make it inviting. And then this really pretty citronella candle has the lid, which I like. So if it rains, um, is from Target. And then, but if I know if it's going to rain, I'll bring this whole tray in. And then that pretty towel is also from Hobby Lobby. I mean, I'll bring this tray in every night anyways, but it looks really cute on here. And Miss Kova is from the shelter. <laughs> And then, okay, and then coming over here, these are the two little chairs I got from Target. I love this little area because it kind of always stays shaded. So if at any point you want to sit outside, but you really want to stay in the shade, this little corner, for whatever reason, just really doesn't get much sun, stays in the shade 90% of the day. So it is makes a nice little seating arrangement. The, so the chairs are from Target last year. That So is that little table in the middle last year. And then that pot, which is gorgeous mosaic pot, came from at home along with that artificial fern. Those I did get this year. So coming up here, I did plant these pansies. They are super hardy, so I don't think the cold will bother those. And that's just in the planter box my husband made for me last year under the window here. And then that little welcome sign, I think I got that from Joann's last year. So this pot, I have that, I can't remember the name of the flower that I planted in here last year. It is absolutely gorgeous. It reminds me of a tropical flower and it ends up vining all the way up this and has the biggest, most beautiful pink flowers. So I am saving that pot for that. I haven't found that yet. That was at my local garden center. I don't even know the name of it, but it grew amazing right here. So I think it will work out really well. So I'm waiting to get another one of those, but I'll update you in some video to let you see what that looks like. And then over here around the fire pit area, this is a tabletop my husband made quite a few years ago. It all needs to be restained. We will do that eventually. Again, it's way too cold for that right now, um, but it works nice because if you wanna use this as a table, you can, and then it just lifts off when we're ready to build a fire in the fire pit. This gorgeous pot came from Target this year and I just put some flowers in there. Again, I will have to bring those in at night for now. And then um, these chairs were from a local little Amish place. They are the Pollywood. They are the heaviest, most beautiful chairs. We got them last year. They definitely were a splurge. They're not cheap, but they fold up and they they're weather resistant. They sit here by the fire. Sparks have flown on them, everything. We never have had an issue. So those work out really nice. And then um, these are just two old wooden Adirondack chairs. They really just need to be repainted, but I'm hoping we can just go get another one of, or two more of these possibly this year. If not, I did put some nice cushions and pillows on there just to kind of decorate it up a little bit. Okay, you guys, I hope that you liked this video. I hope it gives you a little bit of 
outdoor decorating inspiration. Again, just like I like inside to be simple, I like outside. I like this whole area to be open so you can come in and out, but then we have two really nice seating areas for people to come sit. And I always have extra chairs that I just kind of keep around the corner to pull out if we have even more people come. So then right over in this section is where we keep the deck box so that we can keep all the cushions. So it is just right here next to the patio. So again, don't forget to check out Yida Home. Thank you again, Yida Home, for sending me this. Again, this was not a sponsored video. They just were kind enough to send this to me and I am so excited and happy to have it. Can't wait to have a lot of gatherings and parties out here on the patio. So if you are new, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Here's Kova baking in the sun. This is like her favorite thing to do. It's not even that warm today. It's only like 55, but this is warm compared to what it has been. Um, but anyways, follow me over on Instagram at Decorate with Dana. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Have a great day.